<laughs> I'd like to be boring, Mitch. Nah, no, I'd like to be boring. Get, come out of the blocks! Like that. Ah. 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 Got a fire up for Ninja. Got it. Could, could be not boring, yeah. <laughs> ah. talk about and what's been on my mind is responsibility I hear the um, the age argument come up so often and that's probably the most the most frustrating because it's probably the most disempowering thing you know we can't do anything about our age right so when someone says oh I'm old it's basically saying there's nothing I can do mm. I'm not responsible for where I'm at yeah something yeah. something external is responsible for, for where I'm at even though there are, you know, 60 year olds that are in better condition than a 20 year old, why does that happen? You know, it's because of the actions that we can control. It's the things that we can do that get us into a certain position. So rather than disempowering ourselves and saying, oh, it's, it's something external, it's something else external, it's all this sort of stuff that is out of my control, which is bullshit for the most part. What can we do? What, what actions can we take? Because we're going to be 10 years older in 10 years time. So, where are we going to where are we going to put our energy? What sort of ten year old later version of ourselves do we want to have? Because it's going to happen. You know? <laughs> are we going to be there saying, "Oh, now I'm ten years older"? You know, like, there are very real things. I guess the, the main point that I want to get across is there are there are many real actions. Like all the time, we're living in this house. Like everything that we do affects us, and that is our responsibility. It's our responsibility to look after it and to, you know, treat it how we want. It's, mm. it's on us. Yeah. You know, and, and this culture outsources um, the responsibility to, to doctors, you know, private health, whatever it is. And it's, it's kind of like, oh, somebody else will take care of it. But no, that's a secondary thing. That's, that's peripheral. Like this, us, what we do, this is, this is us. Mm. Yeah. That's the only thing that we, like, that's what we can control. So what are we going to do? Yeah. 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 Just wake up. Yeah. Pay attention. We are the house, aren't we? We are. We know it. We're with ourselves all the time. We can't have a therapist with us all the time, a coach with us all the time, a pharmacist with us all the time, a surgeon with us all the time. Mm. And everybody is going to get shit in their life. They're going to have injuries, we're going to have trauma, we're going to have stuff that impacts us. Mm -hmm. Every single person, but it's how we deal with it. You know, what we, ch we've got a choice a lot of exactly. time. We have got a choice in what outcomes we want. Are we going to work through our traumas? Are we going to work through our pains? Are we going to work through our habits? So one of my favorite lines is, we are what we repeatedly do. You know, excellence is not what you do once off, it's your habits. Mm. So we're a reflection of our habits right now. Where we're currently sitting, it's because of our habits. Mm. So our 10 years time version of ourselves is going to be because of what we're doing over the next mm. 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, Our habits, what do we want? What's valuable to us? Mm. What do we want to experience? What is important to us? Mm. What do we want to have in our mm. lives? What's going to enrich us? You always say, Ninj, um, fill your life with good things and then the, the other stuff will drop out. Yeah. I suppose you can do it in two ways. You can either gravitate yourself towards the constructive things or you can let go yeah. of the things that you don't need, the yeah. things that aren't serving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things I like to think about with the, the human body which sets us apart from machines and houses and things is we replicate ourselves. So every cell in our body is brand new after seven years. So our bones are brand new after seven years. Our skin is a brand new skin, 30 days. So we're brand new, we're baby cells all the time. We can do this. But what doesn't replicate is stuff that's not biologically us. We're holding on to things. Yeah, on. what is it? Is it shit in our colon, compacted figure? Is it plaque in our arteries? The stuff in our brain, yes, you know, our lungs, patterns, 
Patterns, patterns, conceptual stuff, trauma, movement patterns, that has happened, patterns, yeah. emotional patterns, scars, things like that. Scar tissue is calcium, that doesn't replicate, mm. it collects more and more, the body collects, it's calcium, which is more and more trauma, more and more, or a mental pathway, we can build on that story, or we can break down that story into small bits that we can digest and process and heal and then move on and take turn those wounds into wisdom, you know? Mm, bone so, memory. Yeah, so we can, we can be a more evolved human mm. because of the gift of the trauma, mm. of the experience, of the injury, whatever it might be. So we don't have to hold on to this stuff. We can let it go. We can clean. We can reorganize. We can restructure things, rewire things. Mm -hmm. So that we can be a better version of ourselves mm -hmm. because of the the gift mm -hmm. that we're being given in life, and that's an active process. That um, releasing things, what what is not serving me, what in my life do I not want to be there, mm -hmm. you know, and act actively releasing it. Okay, I don't need to hold on to that anymore. I can let it go. Yeah, yeah. You know, I relate that to like receiving in a massage. This is kind of like we're trying to move through something, we're trying to work through something. It's like ah. Oh, I can actually soften here. I can actually release that. I can let that go. I can let that change. Yeah. I don't have to hold on so tight to it anymore. I can that that can dissolve. It's not it's not part of me that I need to need to cling to. I think all these stagnant things that happen, it's all it's all a short term fix. It's a short term solution. Right? We're in we're in postures that are like um, you know, chronically in a, in a certain way and, and we're holding things there, but it, it doesn't need to be that way. Hmm. It's a short-term solution, like we said. It's, it's the body, yeah. exactly. It's the body It's the body saying, oh, okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm chronically like this and I'm stressed out, I'm going to just harden because I'm sick of holding on and it's too, it's too hard for me, so I'm just going to harden and, and protect myself. Protection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's what these things are. It's like short-term band-aid protection. Because coping, 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 strategies. coping strategies. Because we're not doing what we, what um, well, maybe we didn't have the resources available at the mm -hmm. time to mm -hmm. deal with that trauma or whatever yeah. was happening. Yeah. So we have to store it away. Yeah. It's like we in a, in our house using the house analogy again. Like um, something's something's come up and fuck, I don't have to do this. I'll just throw it in a room and lock the door. You know what I mean? Because I don't have time to deal with it right now, which is good for the time being, but. It's in the room. Mm. You know, you open that door and it's yeah. there. Or you can't use that room. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. these things are, yeah, it's, it's a defense mechanism. It's a coping strategy. It's, it's something to help us deal with the present moment we couldn't, you know, adequately handle at the time, maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when we do have the space, when we do have the time, what do you want to hold on to and what do you want to release? Mm -hmm. it's, it's our choice. It's choice. We can leave it there if we want to. That's okay. It's your choice, but in you know reality, life is richer when you can access all parts of life, access all parts of your body, all parts of your brain, all parts of your lungs, you know. So, and we can do that slowly. Like I, I hear, you know, it's been there a long time. It's going to take a long time to get rid of. It's ingrained. Limiting belief. Eh? Yeah. So you can that if you say that, yes, you create that type of thing. Mm. But the reality is, once you work that out, you clean the gutter, you process whatever it is, you go back into the trauma and you process it with a fresher brain, a more mature brain, mm. and, and see the, the benefits that have come out of that trauma, mm. instead of just running the story of all the drawbacks, you can see, oh fuck, I got opportunities out of that, I learned stuff out of that, I met people out of that, I made money out of that whatever that might be so you can reframe it and then you can not hold on to that story so ugh, mm. so tightly me me yeah. identity you can let that go so you know who, who am i without my trauma yeah i think the biggest this is probably one of a personal lesson for me as well like when, if you do let go of those things who the fuck am i hmm. without being an old person yeah what what does it mean if i can do whatever i want and clean out and be whoever I want to be and, mm. and live however I want to live. Mm. Who the fuck am I? Mm. That is scary. Yeah. And like I think sadly that's what holds us back a lot of the mm. time is mm. is 
being scared to be vulnerable, being scared to be in our own element and being authentic in, in you know and free. Because you know, then the, I guess the, the real us can be judged. Mm. The real us can be seen, and that's mm. scary. Yeah. So we hold on as a defense again, like holding on to these things that are not us, you know, yeah. or, or that get in the way. Yeah. Holding on to the clutter so it gets in the way so we don't have to be exposed. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, defense mechanism just just trying to you know, put, not don't don't put ourselves fully mm. out there. Mm. Don't fully live. Don't fully be the best version. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't fully be ourselves. Yeah. So this is just, it's just, you know, it's just coping strategy. It's just um, mm. a pattern, a pattern that we've had. Mm. Step out. Yeah. It's fear, isn't it? Fear of change. Mm. So your identity is locked into that story, that pain, that dysfunction, mm. you know, and like without it, you know, you don't know. You don't know who you are. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. And, and the, the funny thing is like people will, they think that they want to be free of pain. They think that they want to be functional. But there's a part of them that doesn't. Mm. There is a part of them that is served by needing to stay stuck. Mm. They're comfortable there. Yep. They're safe mm. there. And if they, were, if they were to lose that that pain, that dysfunction, whatever it is, they that would, that would be, they'd be free. You know? mm. They'd be scared because it's mm. like you, you're out in the open. Mm. You know, you're not... You're not running that same story. Mm. So it's this fear of who am I? Mm. Who am I without my pain? They're losing, my identity. Losing all the benefits. Losing all the benefits of your pain. I can't blame that external. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's on me now. Yeah, yeah. Because there is lots of benefits in, in a pain or a disease or whatever because you'll get attention. You'll, get, you'll fit into a, a group of people with the same... Ailment as yourself, mm. so you can kind of connect and things like that. But the reality is, you can without that pain, without that suffering, you connect with other people that have been through it as well and got well. And then you can help others that have been through the same situation or similar situation to you. Mm. So that is what I like. I look up to people that have been through shit, they've worked through it, they've endured pain, suffering, and they've come out and then they're like a better version of themselves. I'm not inspired by people that have never had pain, that have never lived, that have never had trauma, mm. and that are just floating but along that's and not even, but that's protected. Not even, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think we all we all experience trauma, you know, we all we all go through things. Yes, yeah, we do. And even if you you know you can have a, a significant life event that's that's you know caused this one one trauma at one spot but we're all picking up we're in a a weird culture we're in a weird place we're in a weird place generally so we're always uh picking up different things and we're, we're exposed to so much that we're all picking up micro traumas all of the time and that's sitting in us and and so yeah everybody's experiencing this so this is a this is a human process and, you know and uh yeah i think it's the the people that are the most sincere, the most honest, um, the most courageous. Mm. Courageous yeah. because it mm. takes courage to, to mm. go through this and go, okay, well, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to yeah. look in that closed room. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was getting to, man. Like, it's, if you're having a crack, that's that's what I kind of like. That's what I reckon mm. society likes. People that are having a go. Mm -hmm. People that don't try. Mm -hmm. There's no real courage in that. There's no... Yeah, there's no, there's no growth. There's, there's no, no growth. There's no, no development. There's, yeah, yeah. It's there's no life in that. No, no. There's no life. Yeah, the life force is sucked out of you. You're just a victim of your circumstances and your history and your habits. Mm. So that's yeah. Where? What's the moral of this? Well, I think it's, it's like for, for me, it's the responsibility thing. Mm. So like, wh where where are you going to put your energy? Yeah. What are you going to focus on? Yeah. You know, um, are you? Are you going to be attached? You're going to stay holding on. You're going to stay holding on to your shit, or or and being comfortable in, in that despair mm. and, and those excuses. Are you going to just cling to that, or do you want to experience something new in your life? Like a lot of people will say, oh, I want to experience it, but do you really? Mm. Because you are what you do. Yeah. What's the Aristotle quote? You are what you repeat and do. Like your actions speak. Mm -hmm. If you really, there's a part of you that doesn't. Because if you did, you would. Mm. So what are you? What are you going to let go? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Habits. Habits. Action. Responsibility. Do. <laughs> Done. <laughs>